okay people welcome 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 we're going to get straight into this no games no messing around we are about to talk about itv gain early edge over the bbc for euros 2020 24 let's say 2020 24 <laughs> final broadcasting coverage plans are revealed oh yeah so it's the i versus the b Let's get into this, people. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You understand me? All right, so let's see what they're talking about. Football fans up and... Oh, sorry. Not that. That's where all that knocking was. And my mic is all the way over here. So I just moved because I want my background to be different for different channels. as me are dealing with. You see me? All right. That'll do that. Do it. All right, so let's go straight into this. Football fans up and down the country are gearing up to see England into the 2024 final this weekend, this Sunday, but must decide which channel to watch it. I know which channel I'm watching it on. I'll tell you that now. I'll let you know at the end where I'm going. Ahead of the burning clash against Spain, plans have been announced for the broadcasting coverage. Both ITV and the BBC will show the game, unlike how they have each held individual rights for the fixtures during the rest of the tournament. But despite the two broadcasting giants sharing the coverage, ITV have already gained the advantage over their competitors. ITV have began their build-up to the big game 30 minutes before the BBC start theirs. The Beeb will begin their broadcast on the BBC iPlayer and BBC and BBC One at 7pm, while fans can watch ITV pundits discuss the game from 6.30. <coughs> fans have their eyes... Fans have had their eyes glued to the screens last night as Ollie Watkins scored a 90th minute winner to book England's plan to Sunday's final. Boom. In fact, a peak at 21.6 million people watched the Free Lions get the better of Holland on ITV and ITVX. That is the highest peak audience on a single channel since December 2022 when the nation watched England's exit from Qatar World Cup final at the hands of France. Sorry. World Cup final, you know, World Cup at the hands of France. England will be hoping that they can lift the first men's trophy since 1966 on Sunday in Berlin after suffering a heartbreak at Wembley in 2021. But they can be proud of the effort so far as they have already made history. Gareth Southgate's Brave Lions have become the first men's team in England history to make a major final on foreign soil. See how they put the men's in there? You under dig me? I did a couple videos already where Beth Mead ain't happy. Ain't happy with a couple of posts. You under dig? While Southgate himself become the first manager to reach two major finals while in charge of the nation. See, again, they, they went back now. They took the men's out. <laughs> it won't be easy on Sunday as they take on an informed Spain side who have looked their best. They have looked their best team at the Euros in 2024. In 2024, I don't know if they've looked the best team, but they're at the final now, isn't it? So technically, these are the two best teams. But, you know, that's just based on we here, you ain't. But if we was to get everyone line up, every player, England and Spain aren't just outright the best team. You understand? There's, come on now, there's levels to this. But I will say this, I'm watching it on the BBC. You get me? watching on the BBC. Sorry, righty. Sorry, Roy. They're actually more entertaining, but I just like the BBC's coverage of the game. I'm not even talking about the punditry. That don't really matter to me. You know what I'm saying? It don't really matter. But if we have to add that to the situation, I think ITV have the better team. So BBC, they got Gary Lineker and they got, they got Alex Scott and the rest. And then I think ITV, I don't know who that chick is there, but Laura Woods, we all know and love Laura. Get me Guna it right there. Yeah, so see, Laura with the mic. And then Gary with his mic. And because we've watched, you know, we've been watching. Oh, look, here it is right here. BBC and ITV's line up. Boom, there you go. BBC got Gary Lynn, got Alex got Gabby Lohan and Mark Chapman. ITV presenters. They only got two, Ross, see? BBC's thrown it at it. They got two of them. ITV got two pundits. So pundits, BBC got Shearer. They got Richards. They got Rio. They got White, as in Ellen White. They got Frank Lampard. They got Ashley Williams. Wayne Rooney's gone to the BBC. I thought I saw him on ITV. Wayne Rooney's on the BBC. Joe Hart, Fabregas, Thomas Frank, David Moyes, um, Rachel Corres, and James McFadden. 
while on B, while on BT, <laughs> while on ITV, you've got Ian Wright, Roy Keane, Gary Neville, Karen Kearney, um, Graham Sunas, Eni Alogu, you know her name, Andrew Abiganj, Danny Rohai, and um, Christina Unki, commentators. Yeah, you know, go how it go. I don't think anyone knows these names like that. You get me? It's not like Motty's down there. You know what I mean? But that would have been BBC if I do remember correctly. That's Motty. You get me? Now, the co-commentators, this is where it get interesting. So BBC got Danny Murphy, Martin Keown, um, Jermaine Genus, and James McFadden. Oh, so he's a pundit and a co-commentator. Look at him slipping and sliding. Whereas ITV got Lee Dixon, Ali McCoy, and Andros Townsend. I don't. Big up Andros Townsend. Get me? Know his brother. It's PT. Big up, big up, big up. But him, McCoy, and Lee Dixon versus Danny Murphy, Martin Keown, Genus, and James McFadden. I think the BBC win there. You know what I'm saying? I think the BBC win there. Matter of fact, let's do that all. Let's do it all. The BBC, the presenters, I think the BBC win there. Get me? Laura can't hold it against those lot by herself. Get me, come on, Gary and, and Alex alone. Forget the other two, just Gary and Alex versus Mark and Laura. I think Mark ain't Laura, you know what I'm saying? Marking on Laura's side. You're going to dig me. Hold on a minute, guys. Sorry, I'm not even going to edit this out. My missus just messaged me. Yep, I did get the sugar, darling. I did, I did, I did, I did. I didn't even pull it away, actually. I think it's on the counter. Yeah. Sorry about that, peoples. Went shop a minute ago. Mrs. just checking if I got sugar in. Um, yeah, so that's for the presenters. Pundit wise, pundit wise, I'm gonna go with ITV. I think they've got more. What's the word that I'm looking for? It's not charming. Is it charismatic? It's, they're just they just got a better vibe. They got a nicer vibe, especially Gary, Ian, and Roy. Their vibe is 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 beautiful. I guess it's coming off the show that they have. It's not the overlap, is it? Whatever they show that they have, and they got um Jill there as well, and um Liverpool brother Jamie Carragher is normally on it with them, but sometimes they have guests. You know what I mean? They 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 got a nice vibe, and they've brought that to ITV. Um, Alan Alan Shearer, Michael Richards, and um Lineker, they got a show. They got a nice vibe going. Those three got a nice vibe going, but with the others just thrown in, I think, yeah, mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'll go with the ITV pundits. I think they're more entertaining. Um, commentators, they're both professionals. I ain't even going to try and shit on either. They're both professionals. They both do what they do. But I think BBC might just warm a bit more, you know, man, like Jonathan Pierce and them man there. You know what I mean? Um, now, co-commentators, I'm going with the BBC. You know what I mean? There's gooners on both sides, but I'll take Keown over Dixon. You can take me. I'll take Keown over Dixon. As much as Danny does chat fart sometimes, I think I'd rather listen to him than Ali. Ali, ugh. I heard someone say Ali's very balanced down the mid. No, he is not, bruv. You get me? That's a joke thing there. I think I'd rather Townsend than um, Genus, though. I don't know. But yeah, you let me know, people down below, where are you going to be watching? Where are you going to be watching? ITV, the BBC? Or maybe you're watching somewhere in the world and you're watching on what? CBS or them thing there. I don't know, but let me know. For now, I am Team BBC. And you know what? And I think a little bit as well more is because BBC app and all them kind of things there let you pause, rewind and everything there. There's some, not for me, because I've got Sky Glass or so all of that. I can pause everything. But when I'm doing a watch along with like Fiverr and that, it only works for him on the BBC, the BBC let you control stuff, pause, rewind, catch up, all that kind of business. ITV, it's a joke thing. You get me? It's a joke thing. So that might be why I'm swayed a little bit. But yeah, I'm going with the BBC. You guys let me know down below who you rocking with. All right, we're going into the next one. My name is Andrew Clark, former Premiership player. This is Bar Level. What's up, people? Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.